What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.V. Now you read that title so you know what I'm doing. Listen, today I'm back on that Cajun slash Creole kick, right? Today I'm gonna show you guys just how easy it is to make a Creole slash Cajun meatloaf. Super simple, let's look at these ingredients and let's, let me just show you what, what we are working with. Okay, we got our dry ingredients, we got our spices, right? We got minced garlic, veggies right here. Here we got pork and we got beef, right? So I wanna tell you guys this right here. Listen, don't forget that everything that I do, always look into the description box below so you can see the full ingredient list. Now with that being said, let me just get started. Okay, so look, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees. That's, you know, we are gonna start with that. And now we get ready to mix our dry ingredients. So I got them right here. You can see where I separated them. You can see that's three different spices right there. This is my, cre my Creole uh, kick. Right, then we got this right here. That's just a pinch of that cayenne, right? So we're just gonna go ahead, put this in like this. This also. Now, what we wanna do is just take yourself a whisk. And if you do it old school, you know how I like to laugh and say, hey, go ahead and use a fork, however you wanna do it, you know? But you just wanna get this mixed up. Right, once you have this, this is gonna be our little dry ingredients that we're gonna use. So. Just like you see here, try not to spill like I just did, and then we move on. Okay, look, I got my, my skillet, right? I've already preheated it. I started off on medium this time. I got a tablespoon of butter. We're gonna go ahead and melt this first. Okay, you guys can see butter completely melted, right? Now what I wanna do is, I'm gonna start off with my onions. I always start with my onions first because this seemed to take the longest time to break down. So if you start here first, You know, we're just gonna get us like a, a minute head start. Then after that, then we'll add the rest of our veggies. And then last, we'll add our garlic. So this is only gonna be about a three, four minute, three to four minute uh, minute pro process. Now right now I got my skillet at 300 degrees, right? So that's in between medium and medium high. Cause we don't want them to get like super soft. Now I'll come with my celery. I like to get this coated. Red bell peppers. And once I got it moved around, it starts to become flagrant, fragrant the way it is right here. This, oh man, it smells so good. You know, you guys know what this is. If you know what it is, I'm not gonna say it out loud, but let me know down in the comment section below. You know what this is. I'm talking about these veggies. They got a name. I want you guys to do your research. Some of y'all know, right? Now we're gonna go ahead and add our minced garlic, right? And we only gonna let this cook for about, I'm gonna say, uh, maybe one minute. As soon as you put it in here, listen, this flavor right here, the profile, you're gonna smell it almost immediately. But you wanna keep it moving around because you don't wanna burn it, right? And then I got this W sauce. Let's go ahead and add that also. Now, after about another minute of, you know, your W sauce in there, you wanna go ahead and add your, your evaporated milk. Now you wanna cook this for about two minutes. It's gonna start to thicken up just a little bit, but that's what you're gonna want. Okay, two minutes, right? With the evaporated milk inside of it, this is what it should look like, you guys. It's okay, you're gonna have a little bit. Of, you don't wanna cook it all the way down. This is what we want. You can see it's starting to thicken up, but this is what we want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove it from the fire. We want to let this cool completely. Once it cools, then we'll go ahead and, uh, you know, start adding our meat, combining that together, you know, with our crumbs and our eggs. Okay. Look, my veggies are cool. So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and just add our pork, right? That's one pound. And then here, we got a pound and a half of beef, right? This is our ground beef. You want to get yourself something lean, now, I gotta, okay, you remember this? We mixed this earlier, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just sprinkle a little bit on it, to it right here, like this. Just a little bit, we saved something back. We gonna use it all, and these are breadcrumbs, right? I'll probably put in about half right now. And what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna go ahead and crack my eggs. I'm 
Then we finna get in here with our hand. You remember this? This is our cool veggie, right? We gonna go ahead and just add that. It doesn't make a difference. We gonna add all of this right here. You wanna get all of this, as much of it as possible in here, right? Now we gotta get in here with our hand and we just finna mix it all together. And this is why I got a glove on you guys, you know what I mean? Just saving myself, you know, one extra step by washing it. You know, I washed the heck out of them already. So we're just gonna keep on kneading this in here, just getting everything to thoroughly mix. Remember, I like using the Sweet Smoky Joes, right? And they products, cause they low on sodium. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add a couple of pinches now, you know, of salt. And that right there, that'll do it. Man, the aroma that it's giving right now is just amazing. Now, we're gonna go ahead with the rest of our, our seasoning and the rest of our breadcrumbs. And then we'll just work this in. Just a small little, you know, little procedure that you do. You know what I mean? We gotta put a little work into it by just making sure we got everything, you know, mixed properly. And when you do, and once we are done, then we are gonna go ahead, we are gonna go ahead and uh, form our, our loaf. Okay, so I'm done. This is what it looks like right here. You guys can just see it. I'm gonna be using this little, my little meatloaf pan, right? So what I'm gonna do is, I got me a little canola spray. We don't want nothing to stick, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead, spray it. I like the bottom, so listen, it lets it, the fat drain, keeps it off the bottom. That way, and it makes it easy for you to take it out, right? So, we'll move this over here like this. There's no certain way to do it. We're just gonna go ahead and take some of this meatloaf. You know what I mean? And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put it in here, just like you see right here. We just wanna get it like this, get it halfway formed, push down, get some of the air out of it, right? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna form the top. Okay, now, this is what I do, right? I take my finger and I kinda like push down on the edges like this, just to try to give it like a little, I don't know, just to give it some kind of shape to it so it should look something like that. Now, okay, so you see how it is? Now look, I wanna show you this right here. This right here is what we can do I like this sriracha, uh, you know, ketchup. You guys can make your own spicy ketchup, but this is real simple. If you guys are uh, able to get this, just put this on the top, right? Just like you see here. You don't want to put too much. You guys are gonna have to judge that yourself. I do it like that. I might end up putting some more on here. Get yourself a spatula, you know what I mean? And what you want to do is make sure you got it covered over the whole entire meatloaf. That's all. And that there, folks, is all she wrote. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna stick it in the oven. We're gonna put it in the oven for about an hour and 10 minutes. Ain't no about, because I'm giving it to you direct. One hour, 10 minutes, let's get it. Okay, look, as you guys can see right here, it's done. This is like what it looks like after an hour and 10 minutes at 350 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead, put this down. And I wanna show you, look, when you get yourself one of these little meatloaf trays, right? These little pans right here, look, check it out. It'll come up. You guys can see on the side right there how everything looks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take it out, put it on my cutting board. I'm gonna cut me some slices. And then if you look over here to the side right here, check it out. You can't have uh, meatloaf without having what? Gotta have those uh, mashed potatoes and gravy. And I know mostly everybody does the peas, but we finna get down with these green beans. So let me get it on there and let's get, a, get you know, cut some slices. Okay, so as you can see, I got it out, right? So let me move this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut myself a couple of slices. Now this first piece that I'm cutting, look, I love to make sandwiches out of the ends, right? So this piece right here, I got two pieces of Brio's, thick Brio's bread with his name on it. Now get yourself a serrated knife, which you see that I'm using right there. You know what, it just cuts meatloaf real, real nice, right? So as you can see, these two pieces right here, oh my goodness, that's what's going on my plate. Now, I wanna show you guys something. This right here, I went ahead and made like a Cajun gravy, right? You know, while I was just waiting for this to finish, you know, baking. So, I'm gonna go ahead. This doesn't have some time to, to cool, but I'm gonna go ahead and just pour this right here over the top like this right here. And you guys tell me what you think about that. 
Now I'm gonna give it a few minutes for it to soak in. Look at that right there. That's just like the perfect blend. A nice heat from the Cajun meat and that Cajun gravy just sent it right over the top, you guys. Look at that. If that's not one of the most perfect meatloaf meals out. So tell me what you guys think about this one here. You know what, when you say Cajun, and you know what, you usually don't mix it with that meatloaf, right? But I can tell you this right now, you gotta try this. Hey, and I sent it over the top with this little Cajun gravy. Hey, so with that being said, I'm finna go ahead and get me a piece right now. Oh man, oh, nice and moist. Give me a little bit of this gravy with it. Hey, check that out, y'all. Oh man. I don't even know what to say, y'all. Mm -hmm. Hey, hands down, this might be like, I don't know, I'ma say, hey, listen, top 10 dishes, this is it right here. I be holding that, you know, that good stuff for like last, you know? Hey, but listen, you guys gotta make it, you gotta try it, and then you gotta come back to these comments and let me know what you think. And tell me what you think about that gravy, y'all. I know if you've been watching me for a minute, you know how we've been getting down with these gravies, right? So, super simple, gotta try it. The heat is on the back end, it's nice. I think it's good for everybody. Even kids can, you know, can taste it. It's not too hot, it's just right. Hey, so with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, folks, my mouth is just keep watering, you know what I mean? Cause I'm about to tear into this and we finna get it folks. I'm out of here. Peace.